Uber is now publicly <coughs> traded and it's losing a fair amount of money every year, a billion dollars plus a year or something like that mm -hmm. or more. Mm -hmm. um, are you thinking of going public and are you losing money or are you making money? Mm -hmm. Well, um, we do have a specific IPO timetable, let's put it that way. And back to the Uber point, I'm sure it's temporary and they will go through it. Dara is a very diligent CEO and very experienced. For us, uh, we think profitability is a natural result of the value you really create. And there are two things in China very different from the other market. First, the ride share is cheaper than car ownership. So that's the huge value creation you provide to your users. And secondly, in China, we are going through a transition that people you know, people urge for better life quality, better lives, and people want to spend more money. The average so, age of your yeah. rideshare customers is what? Is it below 30 or? Yeah, 20 to 30, 20, 20 to 30. 30. Actually, a lot of them are uh, students from college or okay. just, you know, McKinsey third year analyst. So people who are 50, 60, or 70, they're not your target audience as much? No, they are actually. We, we definitely want to, you know, you know, make our technology more accessible to everyone, yeah. Well, back to the question of your profitability. Yeah. You, you are profitable. Um, on our core business, well, we Your are, core business. Yes, we now, are. Now, one of the businesses that is not your core, and I think you spun it off, right. was your um, automatic driving with sure. driverless. Autonomous, auto yeah. Autonomous. So why did you spin it off, and when do you think autonomous driving will actually be uh, very common? Yeah, actually, um, you know, I think it will take huge commitment for autonomous technology to mature technology-wise and also commercial-wise, right? So any company who wants to succeed in that field need to be prepared to spend money and human resource into it. Um, so we view, you know, we want to attract the top talent and make it independent. So people feel we want to join, this is a young company. And at the same time, we also, we are advantage here because we run the lar largest network, right? For a geofencing autonomous car to run, it's easy, right? In California, it could be e much easier than in Beijing. So we have this huge amount of data. So that makes us feel, you know, we're advantaged. That's how many years you know, away before you actually really I able think it'll to be do a that. long time. 